Hello and welcome to a new trip report. Today I am in Florm in central Norway. The village is a tourist destination. Besides doing fjord tours, for example to the World Natural Heritage Narrow Fjord, it is best known for its station and the starting or ending of the Florm Railway. And this is what I will do today, riding the Florm Railway. I was passing by and only thanks to a friend I remember that I could do this as a spontaneous activity. Thanks Blackie. The From Railway uses older coaches with the 2-3 configuration. The construction of the railway started in 1923 and was finished in 1944. Starting in Florm at 2 meters above sea level, it climbs up to 866 meters at Myrdal over the distance of about 20 kilometers, which is about 12.5 miles. Let's go! I did go to Florm by car and booked the round trip. The price for this is about 65 euros or 74 US dollars. The trip is offered the whole year and a little bit cheaper in winter. But don't forget your sheets then. <laughs> there are other trips you can book, I will leave a link in the description below. Last time I was here was in 1996 I think and there was nearly nothing here like all the hotels, restaurants and all the activities you can choose today. Times change. Let's just enjoy a little bit of the ride.
you get some amazing views on the right, but the train only has one dedicated photo stop. Here's Fossen. Here at the waterfall, you not only get nice pictures of the waterfall, but maybe you can see and hear the Hildra singing. She will try to lure the man from the right path with her singing. Be careful. Are you still here or did you fall for the singing? Let's get back on the train. Another way to take a tour on the Flom railway is to take the Bergensbahn to Myrdal and buy a ticket down to Flom and back. Or continue with the trip by bus or over the fjord. The third option is to go from Flom to Myrdal and hike or bike down to Flom or the Rala road to Finse. There are more options, but I think those are the most popular. I just arrived at Myrdal, there's nothing here but the station and people waiting to go to Bergen or Oslo. I will take the same train back to Flom. Let's head back before the train leaves without me. The train is very basic but has everything you will need on a trip like this. A good thing in these old coaches is that you can open the window to take pictures or film. They give you information about everything that is worth seeing in different languages on the train. On the trip, which will last about one hour each way, you pass about 20 tunnels. That are about 25% of the whole line. The train even does a 180 degree turn inside of a mountain. Sometimes they even made windows in the tunnel that you don't miss the view.
As you see, there are the possibilities to get down again. What you can see in the distance is part of the construction road which you can go down to floor. When getting back, you might check out one of the other activities in Florm, like a fjord tour or visiting the Museum of the Railway. <laughs> if you are in the area, I highly recommend doing this, it is a great experience. Welcome back to Florm and thanks for joining me on my trip today. I hope you enjoyed the trip report and got some inspiration. If you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do so. And you're welcome to leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching, see you on my next trip report. Until then, Live with no excuses and travel with no regrets.